If you aren't subscribed, make sure to that subscribe button because if this amount of news keeps up, you won't want to miss any of my videos. Trust me, you won't. Don't ask me how I know that. Anyways, enjoy the video. So, first it was Roger. <laughs> I saw that too, that is good. <laughs> and now it's Pontac and Graf? Wait, what? The terrible writers are gone. I mean, I feel bad for them losing the job, but still. Yes! Let's discuss this great news. So, two days ago, people had picked out that Pontac had hinted at him leaving from writing from the games. Yes! I'm reading this from Sonic Stadium on Twitter. It looks like we're not done hearing about departures just yet. It's looking all but certain now. That's an interview with Ken Pontac. The Pontac and Graf are moving. Uh, spelling mistake, but okay. On from Sonic writing. Hashtag Sonic News. So, that's what the tweet said. As you just saw and heard. Now, let's take a look at what the website had to say. It's looking like we're not done talking about departures from the world of Sonic just yet. Although this one has been rumoured for a while now. It's also looking very likely that the next Sonic game is even going to have some new writers. I hate to be overcritical, but wasn't that obvious? If the current writers are leaving, then obviously we're going to get new writers. This is common sense. Right, back to the website anyways. Ken Pontac and Ron Ron Graf have been writing Sonic games in Sonic Colors, but it matters why Pontac in an interview with Rebel Taxi make it sound like they're done. In fact, although Pontac outright never says, we're done, he does say, we've had a good run around 48 minutes into the interview, and they had been talking about their memories with Sega and Sonic at that point in the interview. That's not the first time this topic has surfaced either. Last year, fans discovered Pontac and Graf's LinkedIn page is no longer mentioned that they work for Sega of America. Pontac's page says he's finished in 2019, and Graf says he has been done since October of 2019. So, what does this all mean? It's hard to say. It obviously means there's not going to be any more Baldi Makanoza or BBBE, best boss beating ever, jokes. But the change in writing direction is going to depend on what Sega wants, and what the writers they hire wish to do. Regardless of what happens, the last couple of days have been pretty big for Sonic fans. Roger Craig Smith is done voicing Sonic, and now it's all but certain that Pondrak and Graf are done writing for Sonic. Whatever the next Sonic game is, it's not going to be what we've become used to seeing from Sonic for the past decade. And that's all they had to say. Thanks Sonic Stadium for providing us with the information, much appreciated. So, it looks like Sega is going to be taking Sonic in a completely different direction Finding Roger and Pontac and Graf. Sega are really taking this anniversary seriously, and I have to say, with every bit of news we get, I'm beginning to get more and more interested as to what Sega is plotting. Will it be good? Or will it doom the franchise as much or even more than Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric? Let's hope that we can soon find out. Most preferably this year. Sega, don't disappoint us like that. Please? Pontac and Graf leaving us is probably the smartest decision Sega have ever made in a while. Well done, Sega. Come on, everyone. Just like we applauded Bob for getting all 6 backwards compatible, let us now clap for Sega for making a great decision. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Go Sega! Let's go! Just like Sonic Stadium stated, we could no longer be seeing cheesy jokes. We may actually have funny jokes now! It's a bloody miracle! Thank you Sonic Gods! Thank you! The biggest takeaway from this is the possibility of serious stories returning, on par, or maybe even better, the likes of the Adventure Games, or 6, and Unleashed. If you could get the old writers back from the previous games, that would be the greatest thing ever. I think we need the writers of Unleashed and Black Knight back. I know that the Adventure Games were great, but I think we're in a time right now where Sonic needs to appeal to everyone, thanks to the movie. The Adventure Stories mostly appeal to a more mature audience, with little to no humour. I think Unleashed had the perfect balance of seriousness, humour, and heartfelt moments. The best examples of this are the moments with Orba and Eggman being the humour, so what if I gave it a bit of a sudden awakening? This is unacceptable! Ergo, this is the repercussion of your hasty actions. What was that? I'm having a bad enough day as it is! First that professor runs off with the Gaia manuscripts, and now the planet's coming back together! That doctor is the result of the power of the Chaos Emeralds, which you discarded along with Sonic. Ergo, another repercussion of your hasty actions. Quiet, you junkie! That was all part of my plan! Part of the big picture! Where's the fun in having my plan succeed without any challenge? <laughs> A brilliant shift in perspective! An idea worthy of Dr. Eggman! Super genius! 
<laughs> Your skill at self-aggrandizement is unparalleled. <laughs> Silence! And definitely this cutscene for Heartfelt. I bet it's thanks to you. Hmm? Even at night when I'm like this, I'm still myself, not like all the other people we've seen. You must have been protecting me this whole time. Mm-mm. I haven't done anything, Sonic. You're the reason you haven't changed at all. You're too strong to lose yourself. I'm the reason? Yeah. You never doubt yourself, no matter what. You never give in to the night or the darkness inside your heart. I think it's because I knew that about you. That's why I wanted you to help me. It's been so fun getting to see the world. I've lived here since the planet began, but I didn't know a thing about it. That it's so pretty, or that food tastes so good, or that people are so nice. I'm so glad I got the chance to discover all that with you, and I'm so glad that you helped me find my memory. Sonic, I will never, ever forget you. Thank you, Sonic. Goodbye, friend. Hey! Whoa! What? Where do you think you're off to all by yourself? What? But my memory is back now, and... Well, from here on out, it's my responsibility, so, um... I mean, there's no reason for you to come along, so I should just... Do I need a reason to want to help out a friend? Thanks, Sonic. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was... beautiful. Black and also had heartfelt moments too. Piss anymore, huh? Well... If Sega are doing what I'm hoping they are, maybe we will see stuff like this again. Let's just hope that Sega won't mess this up. But that just about wraps it up for this video. Sega might actually be taking Sonic in a completely new direction now, which I'm stoked to find out more about. Sega, don't mess this up. Don't. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one, and hope to see you next time. Peace.